In our times, we see products continuously evolving to keep pace with the times. Yeah, look at the publishing industry. What changes we have seen in the very idea of a book, both in its physical form as well as in the user interface. Although this is mass produced, it has possibility of so much customization. That's true. Several people may be reading the same book, but it could be in a different size, in a different font, all based on their individual preferences. Also, we could be walking around with a few hundred books, and that was previously unimaginable. And you know, not many people go to bookshops anymore. Everyone's buying online. Not only books, every possible product, our daily necessities, even travel and hotel stay. It's all done online. That obviously has implications on the role of a designer. Of course, designers today not only design products, but also the interfaces through which users converse with manufacturers, sellers, service providers, and the quality of this interaction is determined by the quality of the interface. All of these things generate massive amount of data. Well, yes. Uh, data visualization is another area where designers are actively involved. Designers work through large amounts of data, making it accessible to the people who need that information. Indeed. In fact, we have a colleague here at IDC, Professor Venkatesh Rajamanikam, who has done a lot of work in this area. And you can refer to his case studies in the reference tab of this module. So, Rashmi, what are your thoughts on the future of design with reference to industry? Many things are changing, including manufacturing processes. For example, what we have here is a 3D printer. It's quite possible that in the not so distant future, a designer could upload maybe the design of a knitted garment and you could download it and have it made right here on your desktop. So what about designers? Designers are increasingly dependent less and less on big capital or sponsors. Designers can now upload their proposals on crowdfunding platforms and raise funding to realize their ideas. This is a whole new way of doing business instead of the traditional way of them having to wait for clients. We could go on and there's a lot more to talk about. But thank you so much, Rashmi, for such a wonderful session about the deep connections between design and industry. There are several case studies and links that you would find interesting to explore in our references tab. You now need to go to the assignment tab for this fortnight's assignment. Please complete and upload your assignment anytime, but within the next two weeks. And I hope that those of you doing your projects are in contact with your mentors and making progress. Our next module will introduce you to the area of design and collaboration. And don't forget, a little design goes a long way. See you next time.